Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to more Octopath Traveler as we continue Chapter 3 with Ophelia's. From Saint's Bridge, you head to Goldshore to perform the kindling once more. There, you encounter a familiar face. The story so far. The sacred kindling is carried out every, carry out once every 20 years. The first destination on the pilgrimage, the town of Saintsbridge. And it was there she met three young boys after carrying out her duties. Now she remembers them and others she has met on her path. Each time she bows her head in prayer to the sacred flame. The ember born during the rite reflects the heart of the flame bearer. The fire you've brought us, Sister Ophelia, looks to be a warm and gentle flame. I have no doubt your kindness was a comfort to the children you met as well. Bishop Bartolo's words in Saintsbridge remain etched in Ophelia's heart, and she carries them with her as she arrives in Goldshore, the next stop on her journey. So, this is Goldshore. Here, another flame wants for kindling. After that, I can return at last to Flame's Grace and cast my ember into the Great Flame. Then, my long journey will come to an end. Hmm, that man looks familiar. Master Matthias of the Leoniel Consortium! What brings you to this place, good sir? Sister Ophelia, it has been far too long since I saw your lovely face. Pray forgive me for ending our first meeting so abruptly. There is nothing to forgive, sister. I heard of the Archbishop's affliction. Terrible news, that. I hear that you are performing the kindling in Sister Liana's stead. Your journey has not been an easy one, I am sure. It is the path I have chosen. And the provisions your consortium generously prepared for my sister have served me well on the road. D did we get any provisions from him? I distinctly remember we didn't get anything. <laughs> Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. I thank you for all your kindness, sir. Our realm owes you a great debt. Think nothing of it, sister. We, too, are honored to serve. You have a gentle heart. The people are fortunate to have your guidance. Disease, poverty, war, natural calamities. There is no shortage of suffering in this world. And yet, I hear that recently, there are those who turn their backs on the church, shunning the light of the sacred flame. That is most saddening to hear, sir. Oh, but forgive me. I did not mean to trouble you when you have more important matters at hand. Do forget what I said, and focus yourself on the kindling. I, too, will offer a prayer for your success. You have my thanks, Master Matthias. And now I fear I have some business I must attend to. I will be in town for a while longer. Mayhap our paths will cross again. I hope they do. But in a good way, not a bad way. <laughs> you not turn out to be evil. <laughs> person we have right now. I was going to take this guy. Brain Bash uh, has six strength. 
Right now I have this cleric, which is inside the church. Uh, skills Deep Breath, which I'm really curious on what that will do. So we're going to take the cleric. The strength 5. Just because I'm curious. <laughs> How do you do? I'm the flame bearer, Sister Ophelia. Do I have the honor of speaking to His Excellency? Oh. Sister Ophelia. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting eagerly for your arrival. <sighs> Is something the matter, Your Excellency? You look quite pale. No. I do? Oh, please forgive me. There's nothing you need to concern yourself about. Hmm. Already concerned. <laughs> oh. Uh Oh. oh, what a terrible welcome I've given you. I am Donovan, the Bishop of Goldshire. We thank you for coming all this way. No doubt your journey has been a trying one. May the sacred flame guide us. I've been helped by many along the way. I could never have made it without their kindness. I have brought the ember. May the flame ever shine upon the people of Goldshire. Huh. Uh. Your Excellency? Huh? Oh, forgive me, sister. I was lost in my thoughts for a moment. I fear I have not yet finished the necessary preparations for the kindling. Goodness! Oh, I see. I'm so very sorry. So terribly sorry. It's just that... In that case... Your Excellency, is there some way I may be of service? No, I must... No! I mean, d do not trouble yourself, sister. I'm sure you already have much on your mind. You need a lot of help. <laughs> Why don't you get some rest in the meantime? I will see to all that must be done. Hmm. Talk about being distracted. I wonder whatever could be the matter. Okay, Look! Okay. Hmm? That boy. <gasps> Been caught! Mm. I wonder where that child could have gone. Are you okay? Something troubling you? Ah, oh, Professor! Well, the truth is... I see. So there was a child spying on you earlier. Yes, but when I spotted him, he ran off to God's only know where. He looked to be in trouble. I'm sure I could help if only I could find him again. Truly, you are a kind soul. It would well behoove me to assist you in this charitable quest. Why, thank you. Whenever you strive to help others, people become inspired to help you. I am no exception. Now, about this runaway, I don't imagine he could have gone far. I think it best we thoroughly search the vicinity rather than rushing about and spreading ourselves too thin. Haste does make waste, after all. You always have the best advice, Professor. Really smart by Cyrus. It's good to have... Have him along. One of lots of reasons he's still my favorite character. <laughs> Smarts and thinking it through. It's like, let's not panic. He has he couldn't have got far. He's still somewhere in the vicinity. And Cyrus is correct. Goodness! There you are! I saw you in the church earlier. <gasps> Been caught? Mm. What do you want? I know nothing. Hmm? You are safe with me. Settle down. I never said you did anything. Um. Ah. I am Ophelia. What's your name? Uh. Uh, I'm Daniel. <laughs> what a lovely name. It's nice to meet you, Daniel. Thanks. Yeah, 
Nice to meet you too. Now then. Were you there to see the bishop about something? Yes. What? Uh, yeah, I guess. <sighs> he sure seemed to have a lot on his mind. Ah. Hmm. It was as though he was anxious about something, or even afraid. something, will you tell me? If there's any way in which I might offer my aid, I'll do it. Uh, Celia is so nice. I brought a letter to the bishop. Uh, a letter? Somebody asked me to give it to him. A stranger. But when the bishop read the letter, he went all white. That's not good. I'd never seen the bishop look like that before. Hmm. I'll bet you don't know what the letter said. Can you remember anything about the person who gave you the letter? Um. Well, I'd never seen him in town before. Newcomer to town. I see. Thank you, Daniel. I think I should speak with the bishop once more. Yeah, let's find out what the more than likely super threatening letter was. Oh, guy Daniel. Never mind for the whole deep breath thing. I must apologize to the bishop. Oh, it's not true. Um, Sister Ophelia? Yes. Yes, Daniel? Did I, did I do a bad thing? To the bishop, I mean. No. Of course not. But if you're worried for him, why don't we go and speak with His Excellency together? You'd do that for me? Thank you, Sister Ophelia! Let's go do that. Very sweet, he said he did a bad thing. Now, whoever gave whoever gave you the letter if is you'll forgive me. Your Excellency, it's me, Sister Ophelia. But why? That boy with you! Let us begin. Young Daniel had something he wished to say to you, Your Excellency. <clears throat> uh, what... what might that be? I'm sorry. I is it all my fault? Is it all because of that letter? <clears throat> it's... It's nothing. Truly. It's just but that... You've been acting strange ever since I gave it to you. No, I must... No. No, child. You were to blame for nothing. Everything is... Everything is mine own fault. Uh... If something worries you, Bishop, please share it with us. I know I'm still a stranger, but I would be happy to help in whatever way I can. Please do not bear this burden on your own. Sister Ophelia. Shall we? Pray tell, whatever was written in that letter. <sighs> hmm. I suppose there is no point in hiding the truth any longer. Give us a letter. Your Excellency. We have your daughter. If you wish to see her again, seize the ember from the flame bearer 
and bring it to the cavern by the sea. Speak to anyone of this matter, and you may consider your daughter's life forfeit. Kidnapping? What villainry is this? I must be honest with you, Sister Ophelia. Until a short time ago, I was agonizing over whether or not I should do as the letter says. My Lysa has seen but seven summers. When I pictured her together with such evil men, crying out for me, I... I... But to give in would be to betray everything I stand for as a man of the church. The flame protects all our people. It is not mine to steal. Your Excellency. I must trust that the gods have their plans for us all. Even if it means my daughter, my dear Liza, will never again. Bishop. Is the bishop going to be all right? Yes. He is resting peacefully now. He must have been under a great deal of strain. That's an understatement. The father's love for his daughter is a thing beyond measure. To manipulate that for evil is a sin the gods will not overlook. I will go to this cave by the sea and bring Lysa back safe and sound. Bring judgment. But, but you could be killed! Maybe, but I won't stand by and do nothing either. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Darn right, Ophelia. Can't stand by and okay. do nothing. But please, come back safe. You know the whole, be careful what you wish for? Well, the evil people who did this, guess what? The Ember is going to come to them. But not in the way they want. To the Seaside Grotto. Since we are going to a dungeon, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Boy, just one after the other. Every, every episode, it feels like. Just another thing that's just extremely evil. This is... This is terrible. I... I can't even imagine what he's going through. Not being a father yet myself. But... I have an idea what I would be feeling. And... That it's, that's extremely low. It just shows what evil will go, the uh, depths evil will go to, to try to stop the, the flame here. Hmm? Why, why can we talk to you? Hold off on the ending the episode just yet. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, Matthias. Please don't be evil. No. It's some extenuating circumstances. I'm most sorry. That's so. I'm sorry to hear it. it. Must be quite the crisis if it's kept you from your duties. Though I cannot say I find it surprising in these dire times. In every land that I travel to in my work, I find such troubles. You do now. Heartbreaking, isn't it? It's just I spoke of before, sister. Disease. Poverty. War. Why, it is if, for every person in the world who finds happiness, another must suffer indescribable pain. Curious, is it not? We all put our faith in the sacred flame. Why does it lend its worth to some while forsaking others? <sighs> Sometimes, I even find myself wondering, do the gods truly exist?
Master Matthias? May the sacred flame guide us. I believe it is precisely because we live in such a harsh world that the guidance of the sacred flame is necessary. I see. Sister Ophelia, you are always so kind to everyone and at all times. How is it that you can maintain such unwavering faith? Uh, How? I've never given it much thought, but I suppose that I believe because I choose to believe. <laughs> Some people might take advantage of such innocent thinking. Does that not concern you? Of course. I realize that such a thing is possible, and yet, I would rather believe in others than doubt them. I'm the same way. I see. How very interesting. I find your way of looking at the world to be most fascinating, Sister Ophelia. Clearly, you have more important matters on your mind today, but I hope that we might discuss the topic further another time. If you'll forgive me. It would be my pleasure, sir. And with that, I should be on my way. Hmm. Interesting. Just some extra... Extra talk there. Doesn't look like you need him to take you anywhere. Like some of the other NPCs. Just different talk there. Unfortunately, there are a lot of... You know, bad people around. But there are a lot of good people too, and you know, I can't help but uh, think like Ophelia for the most part. On that, I'd rather believe in people. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. Road to the Seaside Grotto. I think we've been there before. So I'll just get to whatever the next cutscene is. And uh, next time, we'll go through the Seaside Grotto and probably do this in just one episode, depending on how how lengthy it is. These have been kind of going in, in two. I think one of them went three. But that'll, that'll hopefully be the, the pace, because it's a pretty good pace. Till then, I'm Sundry9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.